Netscope's Continuous Security Assessment for Amazon Web Services helps address the risks tied to misconfigurations that may lead to resources being inadvertently exposed to the internet. Netscope achieves this by continuously monitoring and auditing your AWS configuration using the CIS benchmark, PCI DSS, in addition to AWS best practices. To assess your compliance posture, let's take a look at this in action. The first step is that we want to create a policy to continuously monitor our AWS configuration environment. As part of the policy configuration, we will first specify what profiles and rules are part of the policy. We can specify one or more out-of-the-box profiles, including CIS, AWS Best Practices, and PCI DSS. Each profile consists of a set of rules. AWS Best Practices include 44 predefined rules, while the CIS benchmark for AWS includes 46 and PCI DSS 36. You can also create custom rules. Netscope supports domain-specific language with an intuitive rule builder that enables you to build out simple but critical rules that will help you monitor a variety of scenarios. For example, let's add a rule that looks for EC2 instances that have recently been launched and also have a high-privileged security group named SuperUsers attached. The fact that a new instance was launched and it has a high level of privilege raises a yellow flag. So here's the syntax, EC2 instance where launch time is earlier than 30 minutes and also should not have security groups with ID equals super users. With profiles and rules in place, the next step is to create a policy that will alert and populate a dashboard when misconfigurations are detected and compliance rules are not met. We will start by choosing the AWS instance along with the target regions. Next, we will choose the profiles we want to bring into this policy. Let's go ahead and choose AWS Best Practices. The action we will take is alert, and the final step is to name the policy. Now that we have our policies in place, let's look at the results in the dashboard. Here I am logged into the Security Assessment Dashboard for AWS, where I get an overview of the results of the audit. I am presented with how many rules have been violated, and what the severity level is, I can see what the resource scan history looks like, along with how many resources have violations. I am also presented with a service listing with the rules violated with each service. And then I can look across profiles to determine what the results are from a profile basis. Let's take a look at the two critical rule failures. If we click into one of the failed rules, we're presented with a description of the rule, the scan history, and the resources that have failed as part of that history. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, we also get remediation steps. And once you perform the remediation steps, upon the next scan, the red will turn to green. Netscope performs the monitoring and auditing on a continuous basis to make sure you are not only compliant with CIS, PCI, and AWS best practices, but you also mitigate risk associated with misconfigurations of AWS.